The uh, ranking member on the Finance Committee of Parliament, Isaac Adungo, has criticized the governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Enes Addison, for failing to file the financial statements of the central bank for almost six months now. The MP says the law stipulates that the Bank of Ghana must publish its assets and liabilities in the Gazette every 15 days and file comprehensive statements at the end of each month. He argues that the bank has not adhered to this directive, thereby falling short of its obligations. Um, he spoke today uh, to the media in, in Parliament, and he joins us on the line to uh, provide some more details to exactly what uh, the situation is. Hello, good evening, sir. Welcome to Eyewitness News. Is, is this breach a recent phenomenon, or has it been something that has been happening for some time in, in, at the Bank of Ghana? Well, you know that the Bank of Ghana is the chief compliance institution in terms of our financial sector and regulatory environment. Mm. And it holds entities that it regulates to account for failing to comply with its own regulations and the laws under which they operate. As a matter of fact, the Bank of Ghana has been very quick to revoke licenses of financial institutions it has been very quick to impose fines on institutions that have failed to comply with these regulations and the requirements of the law. And so you expect such a compliance institution to live above board. But most importantly, because the Bank of Ghana is the foremost financial institution in our country, the banker of the bank uh, of, of, of the government and the reservoir of all our financial assets are in the hands of the Bank of Ghana. So it is not just about publishing your financial statements at the end of the year, but it is to give clarity to the people of the country as to how you have managed its resources. Uh, and there uh, are very clear rules in the Bank of Ghana Act to ensure that. You do know that the banks are mandated uh, to file their financial statements by the end of April, and some require them to even file what we call the long-form audit report, which is an elaborate you know, breakdown of almost every single item on the balance sheet of, the, of, of, of these banks and should be certified by their auditors. The Bank of Ghana, we all know, and I accuse them, they came to deny that admitted to IMF that they have been printing money at reckless abandon the result of which has led to high inflation. As we speak today, the inflation is inching up from 41 to 42.1, and now it's 42.7, all because of the reckless printing and pumping of money into the economy. Interest rates have been over the roof. Uh, depreciation of the city is very rampant. And these are the key, three key principal uh, objectives that the Bank of Ghana should achieve within the monetary policy space. The financial sector is in turmoil. We are losing in excess of $20 billion by the banks as a result of DBEP that the Bank of Ghana watched on and allowed the banks to risk all their assets on the government of Ghana, even though the assets that they were buying were toxic. The rating agencies had warned that the government was not likely to be able to pay off those debts, but the Bank of Ghana still encouraged them. As we speak today, the Bank of Ghana is trying so hard to conceal 54 billion Ghana cities of loss, $5.4 billion. That is a hole on their account that wipes out the entire monetary base and the entire reserve fund of our country, thereby making the Bank of Ghana incapable of funding any, and I mean any, monetary operation without printing money. In other words, they have run the Bank of Ghana into an empty shell that has lost everything that it owns. And they are struggling to cover this up. That is why seven months down the line, they still have not published. And we are worried that we are not just dealing with a government that has the reckless, but we are dealing with a Bank of Ghana that has thrown $5.4 billion over the line. And we do not know how we are going to deal with that. But the worst of it is that they are failing to comply with their own law and to tell us the length of the snake that has just died. Hmm. And I want to put it on record that the Bank of Ghana governor, Dr. Addison, must know that I'm watching him very closely. In my view, 
that is a jailbird. And he cannot hide from the mess and the recklessness that he has put the country in. I want him to come out as quickly as possible, publish the audited reports. I want to serve warning to the auditors that we will review all the standard auditing procedures and the standard auditing practices and the international financial standards that are applicable for auditing the Bank of Ghana. And we will restate all the material facts that are hidden in this process. And they must be aware of the risk they carry for not expressing an appropriate opinion on the accounts of the Bank of Ghana. And that the board of directors must be mindful of their fiduciary responsibilities. The governor had the right and he had the authority to use the powers of parliament to insulate him from the negative influences of Ken Oforiata and the executive. He chose to embrace them hand uh, in hand, and he's messed himself up, messed the country up, and he will face the music. I, I see. I mean, uh, uh, beyond raising the, uh, the alarm or raising the issue as, as you did today in parliament and as you're continuing to do, what, what can you do using the parliamentary process to, to, to compel him, if you like, to uh, publish this financial statement as, as the law demands or requires? As, as you are aware, crime has no expiry date. But also remember that I have been at the forefront of using my, le- my lawyers to drag him to file his reports that are required in Parliament, which he has stayed away from doing for two years. He has subsequently filed a number of reports that when the Finance Committee invites him to meet us, he plays games with us. I want to tell him that we are in conversation with the Speaker to, to subpoena him to appear before the committee, and that we will not we will not tolerate any such disobedience. The lack of leadership and the zero leadership at the Bank of Ghana cannot be tolerated any further, and he must account to the people's representatives, and would ensure that happens. I, I see. Um, so, so very well. I mean, and we, we hope to see how the, the the next few days unfold. But on another matter, the the uh, the finance minister uh, Kenofurata is optimistic. Uh, that the, uh, the 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 IMF uh, or Ghana will meet the criteria for for the release of the second tranche of the three million bailout we, we are seeking. Uh, any observations so far about how Ghana is been faring in, in the IMF program? The key variables that they need to meet, and we all know, were the conditions they were supposed to meet before the approval, which they didn't meet, which was to complete the debt restructuring and secure financing assurances. You remember when they came up to say that they had approved their project, the loan, I told you that we did not have financing assurances. Now, the minister has subsequently assured that he believes that by September all that will be achieved. But what is he going to be celebrating with $600 million? That he has effectively signed off and sealed it off that Ghana is a country of 31 million bankrupt people, that the height of humiliation will become final in September, that as a matter of fact, as a country, we are not credit-worthy, and that you would have sent out the fact that as a country, you and I cannot pay our debt. That is the height of humiliation, and he should stop giving us such updates. Uh, I see, but is there, is there nothing to be said for the fact that the, the exchange rate front is seen some stability over the last few months? How do you achieve a state? So if the way, if the best way to manage an economy is to refuse to pay your offshore obligations and use those money to fund the market, is that how to manage an economy? If that is how to manage an economy, then we must as well put robots there and tell them not to pay our debt to external sources and use those dollars to fund the, the, the liquidity in the market. There is nothing to celebrate. 